Did you know that now you can utilize your XRP on DeFi? That's correct. And this is because there is a mechanism that allows you to lock your XRP on the XRP ledger and then mint an asset representation of that XRP called FXRP on the Flare network. In today's video, I am going to teach you how you can utilize this asset on decentralized finance. Let's just start by exploring the minting portal. This link here is provided by AU. Um, I'm going to leave the official minting links on the description of this video. Uh, you can click here on mint if you haven't uh, minted your FXRP yet. Please remember that there is a limit, uh, but each week we are lifting these limits. Next week, uh, the cap is set at 35 million to mint FXRP. So make sure you stay tuned in into how these mechanics works. But essentially, it is as simple as coming to this page, reserving the collateral, and then just minting your FXRP. We do have a few tutorials on how to do this with Bifrost or by using your ledger is, I would say at this point, uh, kind of a straightforward, right? So, okay, let's move into what kind of applications we can um, utilize to leverage our FXRP. So here on the page, we do have a few options. We do have Kinetic for borrow and lending. We do have Xpardex as a DEX to LP, the same with Enosis, and then we have a Blaze and Swap. Now, uh, one app that is missing is Flamix, which is uh, for perps on Flare. We're going to explore this as well. And we're going to talk about the different levels of risk. Of course, you are the one to decide uh, what kind of risk you want to take. Let's get started by exploring uh, Kinetics. First thing to note is that there are multiple options to connect your wallet. What I'm utilizing in this application in particular is Bifrost. Um, we will be utilizing web browser wallet for Spartex. Here, I just want to show you real quick how the dashboard looks like uh, with this window that has your asset so I'm not supplying or borrowing anything on the primary markets. I'm only participating at this moment on the FXRP USDT0 ISO market, and I'm supplying FXRP. Right now, the API is about uh, almost 5%. And uh, notice here the decomposition. We just have a low supply API, but we do have a very good distribution API. So you can, of course, click uh, here to withdraw your funds. I already supplied, right? So if I click here on max, I will be able to withdraw. And then you can, you know, you can supply, you can uh, withdraw, you can also uh, borrow against it, right? It's up to you. In my case, I like to uh, just supply FXRP and leave it there. I think it's one of the, um, let's say, less risky opportunities that you can find. Let's remember that always with yield comes uh, risk, and this is in general in DeFi. It's nothing that has to do with FXRP or with Flare. Um, now let's explore what you can do on, on a DEX such as Spartex. So we're gonna click on Launch App, and then in my case, I was already connected with my EVM wallet, Ravi, and I can see already the pools that I'm participated in. Now, if you're just exploring this app for the first time, what I would recommend is that you go here and click on Farm, and then you will see all the different alternatives that you have. In particular, I'm interested in exploring what are the alternatives for FXRP. So you have here FXRP with USDT0. Uh, you also have FXRP with Bugo. Uh, let's assume that you're interested in, in exploring this LP pool and then you can click on view, and then you can click on add. And it's fairly straightforward and a standard operation. You want to make sure you click here on do all deposit. And then of course you will need to have both assets, right? You will need to have FXRP and you will need to have USDT zero. So if I go here and scroll down, I will see that I do have some FXRP on this wallet that I can provide. I have uh, almost six FXRP. But I need to also add uh, $16, right? So I don't have at this moment uh, USDT0 that is free. 
uh, because I'm already LPing here. And here you can see uh, the positions, right? You can manage here and you can claim rewards and you can, of course, add and you can, of course, withdraw. Now, one final thing that I want to mention, if you're going to um, add liquidity, is that you make sure you understand how to stay on range and what is the level of uh, risk that you want to take on this. I would say is fairly straightforward to see this on this application. I really like the user interface. Let's click here one more time just to make sure that we are all on the same page. So if you click on add liquidity, you will be prompted to this page here. And this is what I mean about the range. Like you can click on the full range. You can click on something that you consider safe. Um, it's obviously the amount of rewards that you will get is also related to the level of risk that you want to take. And this is uh, displayed on the range strategy. I usually take the common one, should be fine if you are uh, you have some experience in this. If not, you can maybe start with the safe one. It's completely up to you, right? Remember the level of risk and exposure that you want to have is related to the level of rewards that you will get. So this is entirely up to you. None of this is financial advice. Now, I want to finalize this video by exploring Flamix and also talking about the staking solution that is coming to Flur, which is provided by Firelight. Let's get started now with Flamix. So Flamix is an interesting perp that allows you to utilize any Flur token as collateral. Let's click here on launch the app. And this will prompt us to trade here. I am going to connect my wallet real quick. And like I mentioned before, a lot of the dApps on the DeFi ecosystem on Flare are really flexible in terms of which wallet you can use. I like to use a Ruby wallet for web browser, but you can utilize whatever you feel more comfortable with. Now, for instance, let's assume you want to long Bitcoin. What I find interesting is that when it comes to collateral, you might be able to utilize your FXRP this way. Notice, of course, that there are always uh, risks associated with this. And of course, one thing that everybody wants to know is how Flare points work. You do have here a dashboard in case you want to try this out, and you do have a referral link um, on my end. If I, mean, I am just going to suggest you that if you want to learn more about how you can farm points, you can visit the documentation from Flamix. It's fairly clear and it's part of the Flurry Incentive Program. So it's, of course, up to you how to uh, manage your risk in regards to this. I think it's a pretty interesting alternative. So next, let's explore Firelight. So Firelight is uh, a protocol that is still not live on Flare, but it's going to be focused on XRP staking, which is something that I know plenty of people in the community is waiting. So just as the website here says, Firelight staking mechanisms for XRP lets you earn rewards on your XRP without sacrificing liquidity. This is a key aspect, right? By staking your XRP on Firelight, you immediately start earning rewards. And the protocol will then issue you with the liquid staking token or LST, enabling you to explore DeFi opportunities while your principal remains staked. This is just like traditional LST on other uh, ecosystems such as Ethereum. Uh, the only difference, of course, is that here you're going to be participating with XRP, which I think is quite an exciting use case. And another thing that I want to mention before closing up this video is that there are other uh, liquidity pools uh, that you can explore on these decks from Enosis. Uh, here you can see the different APIs. It's quite interesting to see all of these opportunities that we have for FXRP uh, with uh, the native token, but also with Rapsler. And of course, you do have for stable coins as well. So I encourage you to uh, get yourself informed before making any decision, but it's definitely an interesting alternative to explore like all of these different options. And you know, you have to choose what is the level of exposure and level of risk. And with that will come a different levels of rewards. Another thing that I would encourage people to explore is this interesting announcement about an upcoming CDP for uh, XRP. So essentially what this will allow you to do is utilize your XRP to 
uh, as collateral to mint stable coins. This is the first time in history in which you will be able to utilize your XRP as collateral to mint this stable coin. And as the announcement here says, initially supporting FXRP and Rappler as collateral, it will also include in, in the plans to expand this support to include the staked XRP uh, from Firelight. So as you can see, all of these protocols will be working together to provide a very rich environment for the people that are looking forward to explore uh, the world of decentralized finance. Myself, I'm going to be participating in all of these activities and certainly will be creating tutorials so that all of you can navigate safely. Let's make a quick recap on the things that you can do with FXRP today and what is coming up next. Right now, you can borrow and lending on Kinetics. Uh, you can LP on different indexes such as Spardex or Enosis, and you can also utilize your FXRP as collateral to trade perps on Flamix. All of this you can do today, and there are rewards and incentives that come with it. Uh, now, in the future, you will be able to stake your XRP utilizing the Firelight protocol, and also you will be able to mint stable coins utilizing Enosis CDP. And all of these different DeFi pieces are going to be working together and we're going to have some tutorials for each one of them. Let me know in the comments, what would you like to see next?